before this video starts guys we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime synapsex keys now synapsex is one of the best paid executors out there so if you do want a chance to win of course just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our discord server once you do join the discord server head over to the verified channel once you're into the verified channel go ahead and click on this button right here which says click to verify and that will give you the verified role then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here now of course if you're subscribed to the channel you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here but if you do want to increase your chances of winning then you can boost the server so if you do have nitro you can simply boost the server and of course you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well so good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway now let's get back into the video hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be looking at the delta executor so a lot of people have been telling me that the kernel executor is not working it's not uh, at the latest version uh, and that's pretty much because roblox has recently updated they changed a lot more things that they know than they normally do and because of that it's taking executors a little longer to pretty much update this time around uh, however in delta's case they have pretty much gotten onto the case really quickly they've made all the changes they've made the updates and it's working perfectly fine so i would highly recommend using delta executor um, so of course the very first thing you're going to do to download the delta executor is come down over on this icon right here and if you're on windows 10 the icon will be over here so it's the windows icon you can also press the windows key um, on your keyboard to open that up so this will only work on windows 10 and 11 um, once you do come over here you want to search in virus and threat protection open that up and if you don't see a page that looks similar to mine then and if it says like over here it says in orange that this program is managed by another organization or something along those lines then you need to go into search again search for control panel um just like that open that up go into uninstall the program and these are all the programs that you have installed on your computer you need to find the antivirus i can't really help you with that you need to figure that out on your own when you do find the antivirus right click it and click on uninstall so remove the other antivirus restart your computer and then you should see something that looks like this if you do know much about antiviruses and you can disable it on your own then you don't have to uninstall your personal antivirus you can simply disable it um, but if you do see something like this and you've got the default windows um virus and threat protection uh, then you want to go into manage settings just over here and make sure you've got real-time protection off um, when you do toggle this it will give you a little prompt and it will ask you to prove it click yes so make sure this is off once you do have this turned off then you can head down into the description and you will find the download link now i will show you what you need to do before you turn this back on but when you do do the um, download process you need to make sure this is off otherwise delta executor will not work it's not a virus it simply modifies your roblox application it injects a dll into your roblox and because of that your computer does not like that and it tries removing it okay it's not a virus i promise you that so make sure you turn this off go ahead and close out of that and then you will be able to go down into the description find the delta installer and just simply download that um if you do download it from for example chrome and it doesn't allow you to fully approve the download uh and it gives you a little thing over here and it says the file was detected or you can't download it then you can press ctrl j on your computer or on your keyboard and it will take you to your downloads folder and you can approve it from there okay so once you do have the delta in installer on your desktop go ahead and run it by double clicking and it will start downloading all of the files um it will open up the discord server along with their website so you can uh, join the discord server to get their future updates for example or just up stay up to date with everything and once it has done the installation it will open up just like this so make sure you've got both of these uh, programs both of these files and folders safe you can drag the delta installer into the delta folder and you will have your delta executor just like this okay so you can close out this for, for a moment and go down into your search again search for virus and threat protection once again go into manage settings scroll all the way down until you find exclusions okay this is really important because if you do restart your computer as of right now it will delete the delta executor and you will have to download it again okay so it's really important that you do this step so go down into exclusions go into add or remove exclusions click on add an exclusion choose folder click desktop or wherever you have the delta folder um, saved 
go ahead and single click it make sure you don't double click it which will open the folder okay so make sure you just single click it and it highlights the folder just like you can see here go ahead and click on select folder and make sure you can see it in your exclusions. so for example this is my delta folder and i can see it in my exclusions once you have done that then you can click back scroll up again and you can turn on your real-time protection okay so this will go back to normal your antivirus will be back up and running again and this pretty much excludes the delta folder so it doesn't remove anything from the delta folder okay and let's go ahead and open this up if you do have any questions by the way about the delta executor um i am in touch with the delta owner so if you do have any questions you've got any concerns you've got any feedback um feel free to let me know in the comments or on my discord server and i will make sure to pass the comments on to the delta executor owner okay you've also got the frequently asked questions um so you can pretty much see um anything that you might be experiencing issues with you can pretty much find the answers here as well okay anyway so once you do have everything set up um let's go into the scripts folder for example so you can put your own scripts in here um, so if you do have any sort of scripts that you use uh, on a regular for example if you're playing a lot of phantom forces and you use the vestra hub um, and you pretty much tend to use that you know every single day then you can simply put the script in here so just make a txt folder or a txt file and paste your own script in here you can name it whatever you want uh, and then when you do go into the executor you will be able to see that script in there so you don't have to manually every time copy and paste the script okay but once you do have everything done um the delta installer this is basically the bootstrapper okay so this will automatically update your delta executor so you don't have to worry about um it saying it's out of date or you know it's not updated so every time roblox updates which is usually on a wednesday Every time Roblox updates, they patch all executors and the executor developers then have to go and manually update their executor for it to work again. So every time, you know, your, your kernel or your Delta executor or any other executor says that it's not currently up to date, you simply need to wait a couple of hours until it is updated. And then you can open up the bootstrapper and it will automatically update your Delta.exe, okay? So in this case, I will go ahead and now open my Delta.exe. Uh, and you can see that it will open up these sites again um, and it will open up my delta and it, it does say roblox fps unlocker already running because i'm actually using their fps unlocker and i will show you how that works as well so when you do have this opened there's a lot of customization and you can see how neat and clean the ui design is it's pretty much one of the latest kind of ui designs that you can have it's, it's a really clean ui design so let's go through all of the options that are available firstly before we jump into the showcase okay so firstly you've got the ui settings so you can uh, adjust the opacity so how much it sort of looks or how transparent it is you've got topmost so if i do have topmost on i can sort of drag files over it and this delta executor will always stay on top i've also got auto fade on um so if i click somewhere else you can see it kind of becomes more transparent which is a really kind of nice looking effect uh, if i do go into injection settings you can see they've got access to other apis as well so of course we're using the delta api which is recommended it's their own api um, we've also got the we are devs api um, and there's also the kernel api if you were to use a kernel api it would not work right now because of course kernel is not updated and also with the kernel api it would ask you to do the key system okay because of course kernel has a key system so if you do use the api it will ask you to do the um key system now i would recommend leaving this to default this is pretty much a faster way of injecting into your game otherwise you would have to wait a little longer uh, if we do go into other settings you've also got auto inject which i personally like to use so if you do load up any game it will inject automatically and you don't have to press the inject button you also got auto execute so it will automatically execute scripts once it has pretty much loaded into the game Again, it's not something I use, but if you do use any sort of auto farming scripts, then it could be a use for you. Auto launch, so this will automatically inject a delta when going into a Roblox game. So it's similar to auto inject, um, but this will also open up delta. So even if you have delta closed out, it will automatically open delta and then inject it. And of course, FPS unlocker. So if you've got more frames or if your monitor can support more than 60, 60 hertz and your computer can run more than 60 FPS, then this will unlock the FPS unlocker and you will get more frames in the game. Okay, so this is pretty much everything to do with the actual executor. You can also search up any sort of scripts for a game here and you will be able to get the scripts over here. You can also change up your theme. Um, you've got some custom made themes over here. 
and this is a little bit more about the executor and of course the bug fixes they've also got the 28 um 268 fix so that is pretty much caused when the executor is detected uh, and they have gone ahead and fixed that so you shouldn't be experiencing that at all okay so of course now let's go ahead and jump into the game so i'm going to showcase this in phantom forces so let's go ahead and do that and i'll see you in game all right guys here we go we're jumping into a game um, and all you have to do at this point is if you have auto inject on you don't have to do anything it will open up a new cmd file or a new, it will run the cmd uh, to inject the dll into the game and if you don't have auto inject then you can simply press the inject button okay so to check if you have auto inject just come over here go into here and make sure auto inject is on uh, i do like to use this but personally i just turned it off just to show you how the how fast the injection system actually is okay so once you're here uh, make sure you're fully loaded into the game okay so whatever game it may be it can be phantom forces it can be any other game like lumber tycoon 2 it could be uh, anime adventures it could be any game okay so once you're fully loaded into the game you simply click click this inject button and it will open up this little window and it will close out of that okay and then you close out the panel and now we are ready to execute any script of our choice okay so to execute the script you simply click this button right here you can also search for scripts in here so for example if, if i want a phantom forces script i search phantom forces click search and it says it will take a couple of seconds it might lag a little bit depending on your pc and you can see it's given me a bunch of phantom forces scripts okay so for example this one it says discontinued so it's not going to work of course um but there are certain ones that you will be able to use and that's pretty much the the actual executor guys that's how simple it is to set it up and get it working um of course if you do have any questions um i would recommend joining the discord server i will reply a lot faster over there um if your question you know is a little serious or you're experiencing a lot of issues then i will make sure to forward that onto the delta owner as well um hopefully you did enjoy the video guys if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching